hoop house that, uh, that Mr. Sloan has talked about here already. But these, these hoops are both made with 10 foot sections of electrical conduit. Okay, and there's, uh, there's some, uh, anybody that has uh, uh, people that work electricity will have tubing benders that they can use. I have a special bender that, that you can get for about $60 and you can make these hoops just like this real simple. You can, you, once you, once you get your, get it down, you can make them real quickly and they're identical to one another. So uh, what they're used for is for, to support various types of materials over top of your plants. It could be a row, you could have a series of hoops along the row, or you could just have uh, two next to each other and put them over top of some of these containers that, that uh, Leanne was showing us here a few minutes ago. So various uses. Some of the kinds of things, and I've got a few samples in, inside of the materials I'll show you once we get inside, but you might just put a, a polyethylene over it and make like a mini greenhouse. Is that what you would use yeah, to heat up? Just use plastic. So just, we use so, just so you could use it just you know plastic. You might also use uh, frost blanket type material, which is which provides uh, uh, a little bit more insulation than would a plastic. Okay, so and depending how, how the thickness of it, it'll be it can be several to, up to five or six degrees for the thicker material. You might also in the summertime use these hoops and put a shade cloth over them to, to, uh, to uh, reduce the intensity of the sunlight and cause a little bit of cooling in the hot weather in the afternoon. Or you might even, if you had strawberries in there and you were having worried about the birds, you might just put a bird netting over the same hoop. So there are uh, just a lot of different uses for, the, for these uh, for the hoops. And uh, that, the, the electrical conduit, I think, is about $3 a section in, in a lot of the hardware stores. So fairly inexpensive, as long as you don't drive over them, they'll last a long time. So the way we, so one, one question is, how are you going to stand them up? A couple of different things we're doing is, number one, get some short sections of, of uh, a metal rebar uh, pipe and uh, drive those into the ground and then slide the hoops right over top of it. Okay. Another one is we're using a, uh, another type of electrical conduit. It is PVC electrical conduit. And it's the gray, it's not the white PVC, but it's a gray PVC, which is sometimes a little bit cheaper than the white, but it is resistant, it is uh, resistant to UV light, so it doesn't break down as quickly like the white would. And we make some little frames with that, with uprights in them, and then we just stand the hoops into that. So in that case, you could do it, you know, if you had, if you wanted to use it on your, on the cement, porch and your on your back porch or something like that you can stand the frames upright in that situation so so that's like I said these uh, the, the bender that I have and I'll bring one inside so you can see it but it's about sixty dollars from uh, from Johnny's uh, selected seed company and I guess you have many equipment if somebody needed these hoops you could make them too for yeah, them. Yeah I, I can make them so. I can make them a little bender but I, you can also can you hear me without the yeah, oh, yeah. Huh? okay I'll talk as loud as I can you can also take this around a barrel and just two guys pull it around the barrel and go a little past center and make it and then pull back and you've got this made. And on your plastic, on your PVC he's talking about, if you'll take a hair dryer and heat the, the side of this pipe, then you can bend it around that, heat the inside, not the outside. If you heat the inside, it contracts. If you heat the outside, it expands and gets weak. So we heat the inside of it, pull it around your barrel, hold it just a little bit, and then you've got it bent. So that's just another thing to do too, okay? I just want to take a moment and finish up talking about what I started to talk about outdoors of these uh, systems for using different uh, types of materials that you might cover your plants with uh, for various reasons at various times of the year. This time of the year, if you had some things that were cold sensitive, you might want to use something that would protect from the cold. Uh, other times, uh, I'd mention outside, you might have strawberries and you want to put a netting of some sort over to keep the birds from them. So it would be something like this that, that you might use. And you've probably all seen things like this already. But again, with the, uh, the hoops that we talked about outside there, again, made of electrical conduit. And uh, once, you get your, once you have some of these hoops, you can, you can place them where you need them. Uh, over, over the uh, you know, crops that they, that they would fit over top, of course. So you can put, put them where you need them and then put the, the type of material that you need uh, for the particular situation on them. What uh, one question might be, well, how, do you can, how are you going to attach the material to it? Uh, if it's something that has to be really sealed off tightly, for example, if you're using a netting and you wanted to keep uh, any, any rodents and things or, or uh, birds from getting to them, 
or insects, you might, have to, uh, you might have to put some soil over top of the edges of the material down at the ground level, okay? So you'll, you might want to hold that in place uh, uh, real tightly that way. Uh, if you're just trying to stretch the material over top of the hoops and hold it in place, one thing we found with this electrical conduit is just these office binder clips work real good. Uh, you just pull your material over top of it, Put your clip on, and then you can, and again, you may be in a situation where you need to take it on and off frequently to harvest and things like that. So we found that that goes pretty quickly. And these, these, I've had some of these clips now I've used for several seasons, and again, if you don't drive over them, they'll hold up pretty good. So uh, some of these, uh, as far as the, the uh, frost plank, let me lay this down so it doesn't fall. Okay. Some of these different, uh, in, in, Ten years ago, I, I might have hesitated to talk about these things so much because they were hard to get hold of. But nowadays, many garden centers uh, are carrying these materials in, in someone's package, you know, so home, home gardeners can get hold of them also without having to purchase a large amount. This is one of the heavier type materials. Uh, might be sold as a, called a frost blanket. Uh, but this one will provide, you know, probably uh, for, for a limited amount of time, you know, maybe four to five degrees uh, temperature protection, and it, it's not a it's not a plastic. It's kind of feels like a cloth, and it's uh, it, uh, it again they're designed for for uh, for uh, for providing some insulation to protect the crops. This material here is similar, a different brand, so it looks a little different. But this one is real lightweight. Now, what this one is more intended for is just keeping insects off of the crop. So when you, you don't really need to be protecting from uh, from cold and having a lot of insulation, but you just want something there to uh, to keep uh, keep uh, insects from getting to it. Or if you're going to release, say, some uh, some beneficial insects in the vicinity of the crop, you might put this over it over the crop, release those beneficial insects inside is a, is so, the, so that they stay on your crop and they, don't, uh, they can't move away and, and, uh, and uh, not be where you need them at for, to, uh, for the benefits that they can provide. Other situation, uh, there's also some, some netting type materials, a little more open that you might want to use. And we actually got this to try to uh, uh, work with it to see for if it would help to exclude insects like like squash bugs, adult squash bugs, from getting to squash crops and cucurbit crops. So, uh, a variety of different materials out there, and I'm not going to try to say where to get them. Uh, you can go to uh, various garden centers on the on the internet now. You can find a lot of these things. You know, just just search uh, horticulture supply places, uh, row coverings. You know, various terms. Uh, places like uh, Leon's in here now. Uh, it is garden center. I'm sure you ca carry some of these roll cover materials now, so you can find them locally even too. So, uh, again, like I said, I didn't want to take a lot of time. Just show you they're here. Uh, what we're going to do now, or in a moment, John has something to to uh, run by you also. But uh, I'll just I'll be up here if you want to come take a closer look uh, uh, while we're eating here, uh, and and I can explain to what I, what I've been using and some of the benefits I've found. So. Mm -hmm.